customer asked me, uh, he said, why don't you work on, on these? One Start ounce. and finish. They're what? choice no. of the rock. No, 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 that won't be okay. Okay, no, 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 they get a thousand dollars. We should have an actual cannonball, like oh, yeah. a scooter. Oh, I'm down, no crack. <laughs> They're still running. <laughs> So you got we a message? We have a barricade for COVID. This is our barricade. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, stop coughing, Paul. Wear a mask, Brandon. He lives what? with you. No, he doesn't. Well, he, he lives did. on his own now. He never lived with me. He lived in the motorhome on my property, like a van um, in a van down by the river. He doesn't even know. <laughs> no, he doesn't even understand, dude. <laughs> that would be good, Nothing. actually. It was, it was like a thousand feet from your house. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. more than six feet. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, you got a message? Customer asked me, uh, he said, why don't you work on, on these? Nice customer of mine, good question. Uh, these are typically used in the Portland area to fetch drugs, meth, <laughs> heroin, uh, or steal things like the scooter that was stolen outside of our shop the other day. Because Paul left it outside. Well, we were gonna put nitrous on it, and we were gonna see, well, uh, we were gonna make her sing, but- We're gonna run it, we're gonna replace the oil with the ketchup. Chick-fil-A yeah, sauce. Yeah, no, Chick-fil-A sauce is too valuable. <laughs> but anyways, Paul left the scooter outside, it got stolen. It was a Chinese a bike. Dumpster. It was pretty well hidden. Yeah, well it was the front of it. Anyway, so you guys can be mad at Paul because we were gonna blow it up with a with nitrous, like a fifty shot. Anyways, um I was really happy about it. But a customer says, Why don't you work on these? I said, There's nobody that I know of that does. He goes, Is there a reason why? I replied, Because oftentimes the bill for the, the work on these scooters is fifty percent or exceeds the value. Of the bike. I said, what does that cost new? He says, $543. Shipped to your door. I said, labor rate is the same whether it's a $500 scooter or a $9,000 Vespa. So, whether whether we're working on a, a pre bug, a fully built pre bug, or whether we're working on a, a MP3 or a brand new Vespa, our labor rate is the same because I can't give Dustin $10 an hour to work on a, on a go pad. So the labor rate ends up being the same. Dustin so will go back to Texas. Yeah, Dustin would leave. He'd be like, all right, I'm out of here. And then he would just leave, <laughs> uh, which I don't blame him. So we don't work on go pads. We don't work on the stand up stuff. We get emails and calls about it. Daily. <laughs> Daily. Electric scooters too. Electric, Electric scooters. scooters cost even less of yeah. brand new. So if somebody pays $100, $100 for a, a bang, bang bao, Tang Gen, Razor scooter. Ra Razor scooter, or whatever it is, they're not gonna bring it in here and pay us $100, $120 to $240 bucks in labor. To or fix more. It. Yeah, it's cheaper to throw it away. So they've created this kind of throwaway economy when it comes to, in a lot of Chinese Chinese 
sit down scooters too, where guys are spending 600 bucks shipped to the door. Oh, he's sneaky. John, John's worried about getting on camera because hair's not right yeah, today. Yeah, silver hair. Um, so a lot <laughs> of the sit down pops. Chinese scooters too, what we, what we ran into is guys have spent 600 bucks shipped to, the, to, the, to their door for an Amazon scooter, and then, and then they want to bring it to us and have us do repairs. Well, if it needs two, three hours worth of work, it's three, four hundred dollars in, in, in labor, and they get really angry with us. So I just paid 600 bucks for it. It's, it's just the way that it is with this stuff. So, um, yeah, that's why we don't work on GoPads, stand up scooters, Chinese, uh, motorized Chinese bicycles. scooters, motorized bicycles, because our bill or anybody's bill is going to be higher than the cost or close to <coughs> for the bike. 80cc engine in my motorized bicycle. We could probably have a whole channel just on the. Okay, challenge for 2021, as long as everything's back to normal. Gonna win. Normally there's special people that come by. There's a guy that came by that had a, a bicycle with a, I don't know, some Tecumseh chainsaw engine on it, but then he had a, looking at the exhaust, I'm like, that looks really familiar. It was a BMX handlebar he had cut in the sections. I don't know if he welded it with like two battery terminals or something, but then he had a Louisville slugger he had for a silencer that was hose clamped mm -hmm. on and it was hollowed out, which is pretty impressive. So I think the challenge, and he had a trailer and he's pulling a dog around and stuff. Crescent wrench as a swing arm? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So the challenge, John, you can you can play this game too, because you'll probably be a full-time employee again. For how many years have you been working here in the summers? Uh, I don't know, too, too many. Too many yeah. <laughs> now, now you're working here in the winters. Yeah. Um, I want to see who can get the best tweaker Are you moped. For them? No, we're gonna see who can get the best one, then we're gonna race them. Oh, this is like it's like boxcar racing, what if but just, like tweaker what style. They... Let me propose an idea to our YouTube people. Ooh, we should show okay? them the motor. This is probably something that could really be offensive, but I'm gonna say it anyways because I just don't really care I have that to much. Cut this part out. I want to start a like a tweaker go pad cannonball run, like a hood to coast type of thing in Oregon. Yeah, I want to give each one of them a GoPro that we know is going to get stolen, okay? And say whoever can make it from point A to point B gets one start ounce and finish of their what? choice no. of truck. <laughs> no, 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 that won't be okay. Enough. Okay, no, 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 they get a thousand dollars towards whatever drug of choice they want. <laughs> no. Okay, so the person gets a thousand dollars to make it from point A to point B. The GoPro works. has to come back. Well, mm -hmm. it probably won't. But the GoPro has to come back. But I want to document. No, the GoPro has to come back. Okay. Because this is the whole point. Is we're going to okay. document it. Maybe a hundred dollars cash towards building their GoPad or motorized bike, maybe. And then we have all the documentation of every team, because you know there's going to be rivalries, and they're going to be like, oh yeah, if we take Route A, Route B, if we cut through here. So document the race. They know all the shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Document the race from one to the other. And then the winner would get like a thousand bucks and maybe could keep the GoPro or something like that. So let us know what you think. I don't think that's wrong because they're gonna make money, right? And it'd be fun. Wait. And honestly. How's it wrong? I don't see what's wrong. You're not changing so, their lifestyle. No, no, even, no. It, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a tweaker. I mean, it could be anybody, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it'd be okay. better if it was a tweaker. Oh no, no, no! And like, it's like it's like a TV show, and then in between, we like give them perks and stuff. Okay, like, first, first yeah, question: like the, How how many tweakers do you think actually watch our YouTube? Well, channel? none. But what I'm saying is, we could put a sign out Hiring front tweakers. saying saying. Uh, First annual scooter swap. Or, <laughs> or we could send Paul around to, to the homeless camps and just Dude, handing right out raffles. Hand no, out flyers. Free sign on the spring water, put a sign on the spring water corridor that says annual GoPad Cannonball Run Race. $1,000 Inquire here for inspection. And they've got to bring the bike in to pass inspection first. We, we, we give them a it. piece of paper that says how it works and say we're only letting in five, five people. And it's a thousand dollars cash, which you've got to make it from point A to point B, and you have to give us the video point A to point B. First place gets a thousand bucks. Second place gets. We, sh we should say it's f five teams, so like up to three people on a team, but yeah. only one. Yeah, rider. they can have like a support so have, team. Yeah, and everything. support team. Yeah, and just say who can get from A to B the fastest. I think the regular viewers that aren't tweakers would be interested in this in general. We'll find out in the comments, obviously. Okay, you don't have to be a tweaker. Right? <laughs> how, many, how many tweakers are going to take your $100 and never yeah. come back? The problem is I'd probably give away all the GoPros and then I'd never hear from them again. But if they knew, they could be like, first, and we could do an interview, no, like, no. hey, you know, how, we, how did it go? Would we, it, how? Out. we just go to all the homeless camps with a flyer, tape like a gram of 
some sort of narcotic <laughs> in the back. And then bangs. Like, give bangs. Bangs in the grammar We crack. could eventually get bangs. Well, the thing is, is, dollar is, rock, dime is rock. it's... In port in Portland, drugs are not illegal. You just get a literally a like a parking ticket. Yeah, it so, doesn't even go in your record. So this isn't necessarily against any guidelines or anything. I think either. it's more illegal to be, like park in a in a loading zone than it is to smoke crack. Wheelies are realistically. Yeah. yeah, wheelies are legal. What if are, what if you're wheeling? Wheelies and are encouraged. Crack? It would probably be less illegal. Because the, they'd probably say, okay, the only reason he was doing wheelies was because he was smoking crack. Yeah, but crack is legal now. So And crack is legal. So they'd be like, oh, okay, you need help. We're not going to give you all these tickets for doing wheelies. We're going to, you need help and you need to, you know, get help with your crack addiction. Not with... Your wheelie really addiction? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, that is kind of messed up. You do a wheelie, you could end up in jail. Yes. You smoke a... Smoke some crack or shoot some heroin. You're just gonna get you like a. Just, what is it? Isn't it only a hundred dollar ticket? Hey, so could you ride a wheelie? Set the wheelie down and as he's ticketing you, smoke, smoke crack, some crack. Right for the and get, out, get out of the wheelie <laughs> charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want taking me for the crack or taking me for the wheelie? I'll take the I'll take the crack charge. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it doesn't go against your DMV record. No. Yeah, so your insurance won't go up. go up. Can you get a ticket for being on crack while doing wheelies? That's probably like driving under the influence. So that's crack? probably still a big deal. Think so? Think so. All right, we got off topic here. Let us know what you think about the race from back and forth. You don't have to be a crackhead. It would be Ali preferable sweeper. to be a crackhead, but what? Alley sweeper, but just the crack sweeper. The mess. <laughs> the mess sweeper. <laughs> Well, the dime ball run. The over dime, the cannonball, the cannon, the dime meth, rock run. Meth, the, dime over, rock. the overdose run. <laughs> John over here's like, what did I give my son to? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So you don't have to be on crack. Obviously, we don't endorse smoking crack here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we should do. Wh no, what do you think on? You know, when <laughs> <laughs> on 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 a, on, a, on a legit uh, thing, we should have an actual cannonball, like oh, yeah. a scooter. Calm down. No crack though. Like no, no crack. I mean, you can. I mean, if you're into it, here's legal. Oh but, yeah. Oh but yeah. I'm saying, I like this. Like oh, yeah. we should just get together a whole bunch of people, and yeah. it should be from point A to point B. There's a little bit of a prize, but you can't tell the police when you get pulled over that there's a prize or what you're doing. Dude, and the fastest, the, you could take. the fastest yeah. team from point A to point B, however you get there, I'm down. Is winner. I'm down. That'd be gangster and. Bonus points if you can provide, because obviously we can't provide all those GoPros. Bonus points if you can provide footage. You could do a CC class too, because Galera, I didn't do like 110 down the freeway. The yeah, but would it break? We, we'd have to make it like, yes. we'd have to make it like hood to coast and back or something. Scooter Swap Shop to Seaside to back to Scooter Swap Shop. Be fun ride too. Maybe yeah, maybe, teams. So that's like 130 miles. The is people in Portland are too lazy. That's the problem. They wouldn't set up stops. They'd be too lazy here. No, we, we would we would literally have... You're right. You know I'm right. They're we too lazy here. We could set it up like six months in advance and then have people come out. We could even do it during like once, like in Octo late October when the weather starts to get nasty so it Man, actually gets talking. bad. Nobody wants to ride nasty weather here because if people travel from like California and stuff, they want No, but that would be the point of it. Like what's what's the one with the cars? The gambler. 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 Yeah. So this would be like, oh, this would be dude, like the there's a ton of off-road trails. Yeah. This would be like the scooter yeah. gambler. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Well, right. I, I, John, John, John's around. great, man. Is that a pineapple on your arm, John? Which, where? No. Oh, uh, Fern. <laughs> All right, the code for today is R-U-C-K-1-0, and it's for ruckus parts only, 10% off, five codes, five days. Make sure you turn notifications on so you can be notified as soon as a video comes up so you don't miss out on these codes. Back to the video. Okay. Nice, All right. uh, yeah, so let us know what you think, Cannonball Run, if you want to do a crackhead run, uh, off road. If you want to do off road, make this a cannonball. Yeah. See. Actually, it would be really fun to do a hood to coast. I think off road would be cool because there's a ton of there's a ton of forest roads. You can make yeah. it from here all the way to the coast on back. Yeah, you, we could have like just a few checkpoints that they have to hit, but getting to those checkpoints, they have there's oh, no dude. rules. ADV. 
Yeah. Oh, oh well, yeah. that would just be the benefit, right? Like if you if you off road, then you can take these paths. If you are street, then you better hustle because these guys are taking shortcuts. Well, there's a, and there's a lot of guys that have CTs and Trail One Tens, and yeah. a lot of guys that have have pre bugs. I mean, almost any scooter would make Set it up. if you had some okay tires on it. I think we should do it. Yeah. I think it would be. I'm I gonna, would sign up for that. We'll do the Oregon, all the back roads and stuff here. Like if you went in spring, they're so pretty too. They're just yeah. beautiful. So I'm down. Yeah, I think the and crackhead thing them? should still happen. We're gonna we're gonna race the crackhead mobiles, but what if I got a jockey? <laughs> I'm ride? just gonna use a regular bike. I'll just be a. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> I'll block what if, lanes and stuff. What if I found a crackhead and got him a really nice bike and gave him like a hit a crack? Ooh, hold on, I think I got a scammer. Hello? Hey, Brandon, it's Tony. Oh, not a scammer. Somebody important. Hey, Tony. So, what was your th quick thought? Try and so in break uh, it instead of racing a motorized bicycle, I get a crackhead jockey and I give him a hit of crack at the beginning of the race and I tell him there's more crack at the end. He pedals really fast and goes faster than everyone else's bikes. Well, I mean, there's team. It would be a team of three. So no, 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 no. We're back on the original subject. Yeah, I know. Buying tweaker vehicles and racing them on Johnson Creek. Yeah. Oh. That was like the original idea we just had. It's at the beginning of the video. You'll you'll go back and watch. Oh, it okay. Soon. All right. Well, that was the plan originally. We're gonna buy cougar mode vehicles, like opeds. Sure. Well, the original original idea was we were talking about why we don't work on gopeds and Chinese scooters. Yeah. And then we kind of got <laughs> off track, off topic completely. It's because we all have ADD and ADHD. And <laughs> that's that's um, true. Mild <laughs> caffeine addiction. <laughs> oh, it's caffeine, huh? Caffeine helps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let us know. Say hi. Hi, 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 John. Paul, I yeah. heard you have a tip of the day. Oh, I do. You want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you're selling something on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, uh -huh. and it has a deal-breaking issue, like no title, <laughs> needs a transmission, uh -huh. or just needs a head gasket, very useful if you put that at the top of the description. Oh. That's a good one. Run into something recently? Several times. Read two paragraphs and then right at the bottom. All it needs is a transmission. <laughs> Everything's good, no title. If that had been at the top, it would have saved me from reading the other two paragraphs. I would have just clicked away. Oh, that's why they don't sell you old column. Well, no, no, no. So it, it, it's, it's it could go both time. ways. If you're really trying to fool it's, somebody, put it at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> but it, if you want to be honest, put it at the top. Well, it's also just a waste of anyone's time. It's a waste of your time and my time. Cool. Good tip. Is this the bike you just picked up, Paul? Nope. Um... WD-40. Have you ever smelled it when someone wraps their pipes in that uh, fiberglass wrapper? Yeah, whatever it is? smells That's horrible. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> the key fell out? <laughs> it didn't fall out, dude. It broke off. This is a prime vehicle. That's what you need right here, this truck going by. Look at it. That's what Paul needs right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are you going to start? Hey, just shut the off switch and it'll be <laughs> off. It's <laughs> always... The key, the key would be on. Who cares? No, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, because there's a battery. Well, what's, <laughs> what's on, though? If you turn the key to off, does, it's does, off, it, does, yeah. does your horn work? All right, hold on. 
chew out. Foot brats. <laughs> he broke the key off in his ignition. <laughs> 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 how, how's this happen? Well, because look at this bike. It's, what do you mean? It's fantastic. <laughs> I like how we just turned the key on. Let me let me see you do burnout in this thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Well, the key's on now, isn't it? I have other keys. Is this like your pride and joy? This bike? <laughs> yeah. Do I have any pride or joy? <laughs> If I did, I don't think this would be it. Oh, she's a real, she's a real fine machine. Hey, don't throw, that's... that's it's not littering on Come on, let me, oh, nice ignition. Uh, if anybody wants to steal a scooter, this is the, the easiest one to steal. <laughs> Paul, okay, let's do a wheel, or a burnout. We can turn it on first. Why'd you shut it off? So Paul here has a new innovative ignition system. Oh, yeah. You guys, uh, oh, yeah. these classic bikes so, here. I didn't invent this. I'm not going to take credit for it, but it's just one battery terminal screw. <laughs> and this part of the bike is missing. Just take your Phillips head screwdriver, stick it in there and untwist it. I could have probably done this with my fingers, honestly. And now, uh, oh, just, it was already unplugged. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how, how are you? How does it work? I've yet to see your scooter start. Uh, start it. Means, oh, well. Well, yeah. what's your, your what's your invention here? You keep. Oh well, I'm just gonna leave this on. And just take this with me everywhere I go. <laughs> this is my new key. <laughs> that is your key. <laughs> yeah. Thing. And then when I walk up, it's a little hard to reach. We're still working on it. May need on. This is a nice oh, bike, dude. by the way. You got your mirrors under the oh, hood. Yeah. Oh. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Boom. Paul, nobody's gonna steal this bike. I don't think you even need like to shut it off ever. When you go to the store or whatever to buy some snacks. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's still running. <laughs> Alright, I get the key. Everyone turn back on. Your invention sucks. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, Paul's gonna offer this kit online. It's gonna come with a one screwdriver, one hammer. And a, uh, what else? A broken key. <laughs> a broken key. <laughs> oh boy. No, let, lean forward more. Get the variator to speed up. <laughs> Ooh, she's a real hot rod. <laughs> Still a beautiful sunset out here. Scooter swap shop. <laughs>